Good morning, it's Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of hope for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, A Joyful Symphony, and our scripture, Psalm 98. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. I attended a meeting Sunday evening of leadership teams from four local churches. The facilitator took time introducing each pastor. One of each church's team mentioned how their pastor sang or played piano. My group was noticeably and appropriately silent on the matter. I can play the piano, but no one would listen because I just bang on the keys with no discernible musical ability. As for singing, I can make a joyful racket with my voice, but couldn't find the key with a search warrant. So what am I doing writing about all these musical instruments, including the human instruments, our voices, that are supposed to create a joyful symphony? Well, so glad you asked. I'm doing what the preacher is supposed to do, take a close look at the Word of God and share what I see. In this case, the words, words, tell the story. The word joyful is a word that is somehow confused with giddy laughter. While often there is laughter associated with joy, laughter is more an adjective to describe one facet of joy. Joy is a deep down in the pit of your soul assurance of well-being. It's knowing God's got your back and front, middle, sides, bottom, and up. It's the understanding that when all else in the universe may melt away, family or friends desert you, and all you counted on turns to dust, God will be there, smiling at you, ready to embrace. Then there's the word symphony. That's a word that can encompass many applications beside music. Anything that takes a bunch rather than an individual could be described as a symphony. In an orchestra, there are many instruments. There's percussion, strings, wind. You never find them alone for the big sounds. What musician in his right mind would try to pucker up to a tuba and a saxophone at the same time while playing the violin with his feet for good measure? It just doesn't work. Each instrument needs someone who knows that tool and who will follow the musical score designed to get the best contribution for the sound of the whole group. Now even with my limited knowledge of music, it's a no-brainer that a symphony orchestra cannot produce the finest music if the instrumentalists don't follow the score, listen to each other, practice together, and have their whole heart in presenting the piece all the while keeping their attention on the conductor. Now, that sounds like a perfect description of the church, Christ's body, all different, all wonderful, all needed, and all created and gifted and called to be the symphony of God's praise. For you today, You are placed in the body of Christ as an instrument of his praise, and God knew what he was doing. You have a contribution to make. Even the tiny triangle with one note to play in a symphony would be missed. Play your joyful note. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.